What is up everyone, this is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to play Nintendo 64 games on your PC. So I did make a video last year on Project 64 and I know some people were were having issues and there was a lot of people who were like, hey, we want to do speed running because, you know, I feel like a lot of people do speed running on Nintendo 64. So I don't think Project 64 had that capability. I could be wrong, but I do know there's another one where it works a little bit better. I believe it's a hybrid and it has a few more games that you can play within it. Like it's a it's a well-rounded emulator with other stuff like Game Boy as well. And I, feel, I think that's like all the Nintendo stuff basically. Um, uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna be talking about a Nintendo 64 game and I'm gonna test it on that. Um, if you want me to show more, I can definitely obviously talk about it. But as you can see, it's it's called BizHawk. And you can, uh, I will leave a link in the description below for this website. Uh, it lets you download it. It's like technically the second best. It's open source. If you're a programmer, obviously you can mess around with it. And you can see it's a multi-system emulator designed for tool assisted speed runs. I'm gonna actually mute this though, because when I play the game, it's gonna be loud. Uh, once you have the emulator downloaded, it's extremely small. It's not gonna take long. It's like 15, 20 megabytes. Uh, get a ROM as well. I'll leave a link in the description for this as well. Again, you can get a ROM from anywhere you want. Uh, we're gonna be playing Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. Uh, for the sake of this video just to show you and let's get into it so once you have it downloaded you just extract it there is no installation to the emulator and it's it's going to be called emu hawk uh and as you can see it has different types it straight up says game boy lua nintendo 64 nes etc etc uh, i'm assuming it knows when it picks up the game and again i've only tested it out for nintendo 64 because that's what i personally was using it for and it weren't because i have the other emulators for the other things and those obviously work fine for those things but yeah so as you can see just before i even get into it there's oh, there's advanced there's screenshots they have the recordings and i'm assuming this is where your uh, speed running portions come in it just shows you the reboot the full size the you can display the fps frame counter subtitles and again it has a lot of different displays uh, you can set up the controller as well which is cool <laughs> i know a lot of speedrunners really like that so you can definitely set up the controller so you know you can play with a nintendo 64 controller rather than a uh keyboard so yeah you can definitely go down those routes um so let's go we're gonna open rom and we're gonna play zelda so let it load uh you have the save slots obviously at the bottom i believe once you click them it does the save so as you can see say slot one is empty uh, I don't know how you save it. Well, that's fine. It's been a while. So, as you can see, um, the, you just type it up. Can I do it without a name? Maybe not. Okay. Hi. Okay. See, as you can see, the game starts. It actually works in a very well-rounded uh, fashion. It's pretty fast. That's what I personally like about it. Uh, you can display the FPS. is going 60 frames per second. So you can display the frame counter. You can display the lag counter. And again, it's just showing all the different things. Uh, it, it does work well. I personally just like FPS up there. Um, so yeah, I would overall recommend you know, just going from there. Oh, sorry. So yeah, um, as you can see, the game's overall started. It just works fairly well. Um, so yeah, I, will, I mean, you're gonna have to go through the link story. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was just wanted to show you that this one does work. Uh, overall, that you should not have any other issues with the other games. This one is fairly stable. All the games do work. If you guys do end up having an issue, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to walk you through as much as I possibly can. Try to possibly resolve it. And yeah, overall, we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, guys, if you overall like the video, smash the like button, it helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm FNH out. Peace.